Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is a great example of what I always explain that antivirus and security software don't do much and here's the example on an even better example on a Mac computer so of course Mac users you'll hear this all the time oh, I'm on a Mac because it's secure uh, well it's not it's not more than Windows. It's not better than anything else in terms of security. And this has to do with a little story. Uh, that uh, Bitdefender, the uh, famous um, malware antivirus company, has actually found that for three months, a malware called RustDoor is and was actively uh, installed on some Mac computers and you just didn't know it. The security software that's within the Mac did not see it because the malware was running sandboxed in its own little container and visible to pretty much anything else. And even if you had antivirus installed, none of them would see it. And it was capable of receiving commands at a distance, remotely they could just do what they want with your computer, download files, and so on. So this is an example of what is out there when you're not careful. Because to have this in your Mac is just like having a virus on your PC or malware. You have to have done something. If you keep your computers up to date with all the software, you have downloaded something from an email attachment that infected your machine, you have downloaded illegal files maybe, uh, clicked on a link that downloaded a file that you clicked on because you wanted to see what it was. But there is always an action that needs to be done as PCs don't infect themselves magically. So uh, this means that for three months before it was detected by the Bitdefender security team, uh, some Macs on the planet had this running without no one really knowing about it. And, you know, the same type of malware exists for Windows, and I'm sure that, you know, in some future we'll have this or that malware for Windows. Well, it was infecting Windows users that weren't careful um, with, you know, without no one knowing, the antivirus didn't see it, and the security software didn't see it. This is a great example of what I've always been saying. Your use of the PC and the fact that the uh, you know computer stays up to date for all the security flaws is really the number one security. It's all you need technically. Uh, just don't click or download uh, any files that you don't know what it is. It's as simple as that. I get people coming back saying, well, how can I avoid this? I just said it. Do not download anything that you don't know what it is. And that's it. Don't click something. You have no idea what it is. And that's it. So, perfect example. And now, of course, it will be uh, detected because now they have looked at how it's built and how you can detect it. So, now the future security updates will include a way to detect this. But it just shows you three months. Not, you know, a day or two, three months, and uh, nothing was detecting it. So there's new variants, as they were saying, uh, that are coming out. They're trying to evade again the detection, but because now there's an idea behind of how it's built, uh, these companies now actually uh, can probably, you know, mitigate with their antivirus and the, the Mac security software that's already there at base. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.